Freddie's laundry detergent sheets. A friend of mine gave me this. Thank you, Lois, to test. It says take one or two sheets according to load size. Place the sheets inside the washing machine. Place clothes in the washing machine. Start the cycle. Sit back and relax and watch Freddie work its magic. Okay, so a half a sheet is a small load. One sheet is standard load. And it doesn't say anything about extra stains for hot and cold water and fragrance free. Okay, technically have a small load, but I've been doing everything for a standard load. So I think I'm just gonna do a standard load of one sheet. Here's what's interesting guys, if you have a large or heavily soiled load, you need two of these. So let's give this a try and see what happens. Okay, Freddy's, I would say pretty much didn't do anything. I mean, bacon grease, mud, and grass is still on these two, and well, and on the polyester too. So I would say this one is basically useless. All right, the next one is seventh generation. We'll see if the natural stuff does anything. They clean with a purpose. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not big. Even though I'm a gardener, I'm not big into organic stuff. So we'll see if this actually works. Oh, wait, let's see. What do their instructions say? Find three for medium loads. Start machine, add detergent, then close. After dosing, rinse cap and hand dry thoroughly before closing bottle. Oh my goodness, who's going to do all that? Place cap in washing machine with clothes. Oh, or place cap before. That's what I usually do is just throw the cap in there. After wash, close the bottle. Well, really? That's brilliant. Okay. So, <laughs> I think I've done a little too few mini loads of laundry at the moment. Okay. We're on to see if it cleans. Okay. Seventh generation after. Now, I forgot to mark on this one, I guess, but... Uh, there's a little bit of grass left and tiny bit of mud did not you can see the bacon grease really good there didn't clean anything on the cotton at all and the cotton polyester so I would say I would not waste my money on this one here is the pink stuff laundry and here's what it looks like before there. Okay, here's something interesting about the pink stuff. So this is European. So I don't know milliliters, whatever that amount is, but this is all the amount that you're supposed to use. So that's very interesting. That's probably two, maybe three or four. That's well, it's probably a quarter of a cup, I guess. Here, I got my quarter cup. Nope, it's not. It's two tablespoons. So it's two tablespoons worth of detergent is all they have you use. Pink stuff. Here's the after on the cotton. You can see it left some of the grass. I can still see some of the mud and the bacon grease. Um, cotton polyester. Mud is still there. Grass is mostly gone. Bacon grease is still there. Did take a little bit of the pen out. And then the polyester, the... Mud is gone, and the grass is gone. Are you keeping enough data so that if you find out that none of them are great, you can at least find out which one sucks the least? Yes, that's what I've done. <laughs> okay, this is the next one. Clean cut, and now it's some sort of refillable thing. You gotta buy a bottle, and then you refill it with that. Well, you could just put it in your own bottle. One ounce for heavy loads. Oh, brother, how do I know how much one ounce is? Okay, let's see. Um, let's see, an ounce would be, well, let's see, let's try the measuring cup, maybe. Measuring cup, 16 ounces, so here's four, this would be two, so, okay. So it looks like an ounce is two tablespoons, okay? So we're going to give this one a try. Okay, so the final results for this one, I would say it's a no-go. Cotton, everything stayed in. Might as well just use water if you're using this one. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is my homemade lye soap. I am just curious because my great-grandma swore by lye soap making her clothes the whitest they ever were, but... They lived on a ranch and they boiled the clothes. So I have to wonder if it's not the boiling the clothes that did it. But 
I'm gonna dissolve this in hot water and we're gonna try homemade lye soap. Okay, I've got my lye soap dissolved in my water. And I have discovered something very interesting that you guys are gonna wanna hear um, at the end of this, just to make sure, but lye soap is next. It is about, about a tablespoon and a half is dissolved in here, and I'm just gonna wash it with this. Okay, so my lye soap did not do very well. You can see there's mud and grass stains and bacon. All right, on to the next one. Okay, for the next test, we are doing Dining on a Dime Volume 1. Homemade laundry soap right there. Sorry guys, I broke my camera. Um, now, I already have it made up in this form here. So, since I'm doing liquid, I have heated up some water and I'm going to put I don't know how much in there. It's probably more than I need. I'll probably have to liquefy that down, but I'm going to bring this to a boil to dissolve it since I'm comparing liquid with li liquid, okay? So then I will use this in its liquid form and see how the homemade does. Okay, now here's where I'm really gonna be curious. My homemade, here's what it looks like made up. I'll use two tablespoons since that's about, well, it's been about a quarter of a cup that I've been using of regular. Hmm, not quite sure. So there's my quarter cup. So maybe I'll use a quarter cup since I've been using quarter cup on everything else, okay? So here's what it looks like before. There's my just under a quarter of a cup of detergent. Or excuse me, this is soap, not detergent. All right, homemade. Did not take out grass or mud on cotton polyester, nor on the cotton. And it did okay on the polyester, but I can still see a little bit of the bacon grease and a little bit of the grass. Hmm. Okay, the next thing I'm trying is Superior Clean. So, this is some sort of a weird newfangled contraption, eco-friendly laundry detergent alternative balls. A thousand washes, it's good for, it says. And it says, every week you set it in the sun for one to two hours, or one to three hours to freshen. And it's something about the beads are made from a mixture of mineral derived that work together to increase the pH level of the water while negatively charged ions adhere to hurt dirt and remove stains. So it'll be interesting to see if this works. I wonder if this is just going to work just because it uh, beats the fabric more. So let's check it out. Okay, I got these done and out of the washer and they did nothing. Like, I mean... These did so little that, let's see, <laughs> compare it here. It's basically the same as not washing with water. I mean, this was just plain water here, and this was actually worse than just plain water. Because <laughs> the bacon is still there. Okay, so these are a frugal flop. Thank you, Lois, for letting me borrow them, though. Okay, the next one we're going to try is Ecos, and it says it has stain-fighting enzymes. So we're going to try that. It says high-efficiency machine use one ounce for a regular load. So that's what we're going to do. Well, I don't think their stain-fighting <laughs> enzymes were able to fight very well. Hard. Oh my goodness, that's just awful. Wow. See how well this laundry <laughs> soap gets out chicken stains in our in our clothing. We're filming what? Um, laundry soap number four hundred thirty-three. <laughs> it's um feels like it, doesn't it? It's IMUX Deluxe um, Power Wash uh, Premium um, something or another with with sheening action. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's the Doe Tetra right here. And by the way, 
this one tablespoon of soap, which is really hard to see there. The one tablespoon of soap in here is the correct amount of soap that all laundry detergents should use. Okay, here's the dough Tetra. Not really impressed. So it didn't even come out in polyester. So you can see grass stayed, mud stayed, baking grease. It did get out pin though. It did get the pin out and all of them and the pin totally came out of polyester. So that's impressive, but the mud and the dirt didn't. The next one is Norex. So there you go, about a tablespoon also is what they say. And here is the before. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of pushback on this one, but the Norwex did not clean well at all. My goodness, it didn't even get the polyester, although it did get the pen out of the polyester, which you can see here's the baking grease and the mud and the grass is still all there. Let's take a look at the final for the eco-friendly um, detergents. So the sheets got neither the grass nor the mud out. The pink stuff, um, the pink stuff mostly got the mud out. And let's see, seventh generation got neither the mud nor the uh, grass stains out. And this stuff, Ecos, did not get mud or grass out. And this stuff here, the clean cult did not this didn't even come close to cleaning anything i mean you might as well just buy water for that and then the alternative laundry balls they actually cleaned slightly better <laughs> than this stuff so and i almost forgot to put out here but my homemade is I guess environmentally friendly. I don't know. It breaks down. So, and my homemade, uh, my homemade uh, lye soap did not get the the um, mud and grass out. So I would say the winner is the pink stuff. At least it got it got the most mud and, and grass out for all of them. So I would say the pink stuff is the winner if you're going environmental. Yeah, not real impressive with all the environmental ones on how well they did.